Now they've got two against the Bears. So taken away by Campbell. It's kicked out of play by Vedette. Bears need to pick up the pace here. 16.45 to go in the second half. Now down by two, two goals. Both of them coming out the foot of Ma Megan McGee. Christopher Nelly. McGee, back to Wood, to Campbell. Johnson over for McMahon. McMahon puts one on. That's going wide, actually, and Tebow grabs it out of the air. Jackie Moore coming back into the game for Potsdam shortly, and the Bears certainly need her. She scored the goal yesterday, has 10 in her career, had nine as a freshman. Kick back in the other direction. Murray now can't control. Here's Johnson. Kier Kiernan Johnson now on the far side. She had a goal and assist yesterday against Mount Ida. And she tries to center it. Lavecchi tries to get rid of it. Knocked down by McMahon. Still in the corner. And I believe they're going to call offsides on Kiernan Johnson. Potsdam needs to be aggressive here. They need to move a little bit quicker. It's still time with 15.25 to go, but they're down two goals, and the shots haven't come easy here in the second half. Played ahead for Riley Murray. For Vedette. Her pass knocked down by Campbell. Kicked back in the other direction. Juville, we'll see what they do here. They only need to play defense. They can just defend the half and kick the ball into the Bears' end for the rest of the game and run out the clock. Riley Murray now will try to move it ahead. Here's a pass to Siemens in the corner. She's got some room, but Jazdowski closing. A centering cross there, and Dulniak comes out to smother it. Morgan Robbins was right in front of the net. 14.36 to go. Long kick towards midfield. Knocked down by Murray. Ahead for Siemens. To the near sideline for Falchion. Cuts back toward the middle of the field. Plays it ahead. Deflected towards the end line by Tamizzi. Campbell trying to prevent a, goal, a corner kick. She cannot. So the Bears will have a corner kick here. This is a big opportunity for Potsdam. Jackie Moore is going to come back into the game for the Bears. As is Judah, Carriaz, and Nelson for Deuville. So Siemens will leave it for Van Wagner. There's a hard kick. Murray now with a shot and a defensive save there by Jizdowski. So that'll go over the end line there. So a chance for Potsdam, but it, but uh, nothing doing. So that is kicked out of play. 12.40 to go. Bears trail 2-0. Two, two goals here by Megan McGee for Deuville are the difference in this one. P, 13. She's going to hit the next half of the time. 13.26. Bears outshot Deuville 8-1 in the first half. But Deuville has outshot the Bears 8-6 in the second. And Potsdam has had less great scoring chances. 
than Deweyville College has so far. They've had about two maybe and four or five real good ones for Deweyville. Uh, nine shots. So Seaman shoved down by Carey. Has no call there. That's sent ahead. Hermansky on the far side will be kicked away by Venn, and that'll go all the way down in the corner. So throw in here for Deuville and no rush with the time ticking away. 11.30 to go. Peterson across midfield. Played ahead for Murray. And that's kicked away by Jizdowski. Jizdowski has used her speed extremely well. The Bears have a couple uh, quick midfielders and forwards that she's neutralized today, especially when chasing down loose balls. And that's where the Bears create some goals there, trying to get somebody free and then use the, the burners to get open. And they haven't been able to do that today. And I think Jizdowski has played the entire game. I don't know if she's come out. On the far side, that'll go out of play. Potsdam throw in. Lavecchi will send it in. Peterson tries to work around Johnson. She'll play it back for Vedette. Cross midfield. Skip up into the gut of Nelson. She'll send it back in the other direction near midfield. Vedette will play it forward for Murray. Murray trying to create something here into a crowd. That's kicked away by Judah. Murray gets it back now. And coming in is Tamizzi. She'll knock it back towards midfield. Waiting for it is Johnson. Charging hard is Erno. Johnson towards the far sideline. She'll kick it past Lavecchi. Stayed in there. She'll send it across in front, but there is absolutely nobody with her as the Spartans are playing back. They're focusing on defense as they should to preserve this victory. Erno now carries it back towards midfield. Wood will kick it back in the other direction. Lavecchi. Cross midfield for Erno. For Vedette to Van Wagner. Campbell trying to chase her down. Long pass ahead looking for Felschen. Felschen trying to beat Nelson. She's not going to be able to get there, but it will be a goal kick. Or a corner kick, excuse me, a corner kick. It should be anyway. So Van Wagner now will take the corner kick. 9.05 to go here. In the second half, Bears trail 2 0. Two Megan McGee goals for Newville College. A direct kick and a long pass ahead. Van Wagner puts it in the box. Headed out of there by Tamizzi. Nice play there. Erno is waiting for it, trying to get it right back in. She's trying to step around carry out. She'll take a shot. Actually, not a shot, just moves it forward, but it's blocked by a bunch of bodies. Now, Vedette will send it wide. And out of play. I'm not sure if that was a shot or a cross or a, a pass ahead. McGee is back in. Here's the goal score for Deuville College. He's going to take Kiernan Johnson's spot. Kiernan Johnson a goal and assist yesterday. So two of the most important offensive players for Deuville this weekend. Dolniak will set up the goal kick with 8.10 to go. Driven back towards midfield, headed up in the air by Chris, Chris Finelli. Still loose ball, Chris Finelli coming away with it. Now Van Wagner takes it back. Sends it forward. Van Wagner up for Falchion. And that'll be knocked out of play by Nelson. Nelson, good speed as well. The speed of Nelson and Jizdowski may have been the difference in this game to this point. Prevented the Bears any of those outside chances. Here's Falchion. Sends across in front. Just by a charging Rachel Venn. And that'll go all the way across the field and out of play. So that'll go out of play. 
Another throw in. It'll be Judah on the far side. Rachel Slowowski getting ready to come back in for Duval College. Venn bumps it forward, trying to make something happen, but it's taken away by Wood. Played over to Campbell. Back to Chris Finelli, taken away by Jackie Moore. Played back to Peterson. Now sent across midfield. Kick forward, here's Erno. To Van Wagner, 6.20 to go. All the way to the end line, and Dolniak will just wait for the Siemens to get close, then she'll pick it up, run about six or seven more seconds off the clock. Cross midfield, McGee waiting for it, heads it down. Campbell gets it. And they're gonna say, who's it off? They're gonna say it's off of Falchion. No, I guess they just backed it up a little bit. Van Wagner. Inching forth, five and a half minutes to go. Head for Siemens. Jazdowski gets there first though. She's gonna knock it out of play. Bears a throw in. Time running out on Potsdam, trailing by two here in the championship game of the fifth annual Potsdam College Cup. They won it last year. They won it the first year in 2012. And now Falchion's tripped up there. And there's no call there either. So Van Wagner, I guess you're going to say a foul. There was a call. It wasn't out of play. I thought it went out of play. So Van Wagner will try to put it in. Bears will get in position. Under five minutes to go now. They trail by two. Van Wagner sends it in. Sails out of play. And now of substitutions here. Brendan Bruschini back in for Potsdam. Rachel Solowski for Uville College. 4.35 to go. Yeah. What'd she say? So ahead for Hermansky. For Erno. Kick back towards midfield. Past Erno. Carriaz is there. Back to Campbell. Plays it for over for Wood. To the far side for Judah. Ahead for Hermansky. Back to Chris Finelli. She can't control it. Riley Murray brings it back in the other direction. Three and a half minutes to go. Bears running out of time here. Head for Jackie Moore. Played ahead for Olivia Siemens on the far side. Siemens is knocked down there. And what's going to happen? I guess they're going to say Bears corner kick with three... 10 to go here. So Riley Murray in the far corner will try to put in position for the Bears. Both Jackie Moore and Olivia Siemens out there. Kaylin Van Wagner on the far side as is Brooke Falchion. Sarah Erno right at the top of the box. Morgan Robbins in the mix as well. Rachel Venn right in the middle of a bunch of black jerseys there. And it skips past Venn. Van Wagner kicks it back in the other direction. Hermansky is there, but she doesn't touch it. And Murray will get it back. She'll carry it to the top box, take a shot. And on a hop, Dol Dolniak will scoop it up. 2.35 to go. Pont Sam trails 2 0. Two goals in just over three minutes for Megan McGee are the difference in this game. Wood. Campbell. Van Wagner ahead for Erno. Yeah. 
chipped ahead. Knocked back in the other direction by Tamizzi. Back towards midfield for Murray. Steps around, Carriaz plays it ahead for Venn, chips it forward. Nobody there but Campbell and Dulniak, though. And they'll drive it back in the other direction uh, with under two minutes to go. Dulniak across midfield, 90 seconds to go now. Peterson is there. Stepping around McGee, and that'll go out of play. A throw in for Duville College. Duville in no hurry. 11 seconds off the clock on that throw in alone. So that'll be kicked out of play by Murray. Under a minute to go now. Duville College appears that they're going to win the 2016 Potsdam College Cup Championship. Kicked across. Midfield rolls all the way to Delniak. She'll scoop it up with 40 seconds to go. She'll wait. Eight more seconds gone. 30 seconds left now. Ahead for Van Wagner. Kick long downfield. That'll go out of play with 15 seconds left. Duville College is going to win this one two to nothing. Megan McGee with two goals in three minutes. And that's going to do it. Duville College wins the 2016 Potsdam College Cup. Summarize things real quickly here. Potsdam outshot Duville College 16 to 9. The shots were even at 8-8 in the second half, though. Corners. Potsdam had five. Duville had one. Saves. Duville's Megan Dolniak had nine. Bree Tebow had just two for Potsdam and one offside apiece. Goals coming.